When we're asked to solve an equation, that means to find out what the unknown value is. In this case, there's a letter x. We know that 5 is multiplied by x, so 5 multiplied by some number, and then 3 added to it has to equal 23. Now we could possibly guess the value of x, and when you go through and do some trial and error, you'll eventually get to the answer. Sometimes trial and error may not always work, particularly when the answer is a decimal value or something that's very large or very small. Let's have a look at an approach that will work in this case. We have to ask ourselves what happens to the letter x. We can see here that in the first instance it's multiplied by 5, and then we add 3 to it to get an answer of 23. To get x all by itself, in other words find the answer for x, we have to remove the 5 and the 3. And to do that we do a reverse operation in the reverse order. So the first thing we do is subtract 3, and then we divide by 5 to the whole equation. So in a sense we're undoing the operations that have been applied to the x. Let's have a look to see how that works. In the first case we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. And what that does is it removes the plus 3 that's in the first line. Let's see what happens. If you take away 3 from both sides, the 3 disappears on the left, and 23 take 3 is equal to 20. So we're left with 5 multiplied by x equals 20. Now to remove the 5, we have to divide by 5. So on the left hand side we divide by 5, but to make sure it stays equal and balanced, we have to divide by 5 on the right. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 5 multiplied by x divided by 5 means we remove the 5. The opposite of multiplying by 5 is to divide by 5, and we're left with just the x. So our answer is x equals 4. Now of course we can always check the answer by substituting it back into the original equation that we started with. 5x plus 3 equals 23 is in the first line. And if we put 4 where the x is, 5x means 5 multiplied by x. So 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, 20 plus 3 is equal to 23, and our equation is true. So we've come up with the correct answer.